This video will show you how to edit the layout and structure of your LeanCore Kanban board. As a first step, I recommend that you only do structural edits on a board that has no cards. The best way to do this is to use the hyperjump feature within LeanCore to move the cards from each column into another board temporarily. To get started with your editing, just click on the Edit Board icon in the top left. If you do not see the Edit Board icon, then it means that your LeanCore profile was not set up to enable editing of the boards. You must have a Visual Lean Designer permission in order to edit the board structure. Once we are in the Edit Board mode, we can add columns, swim lanes, and sub-columns to the board as well as modify the width of each column. Let's take a look. First, we'll start with adding a new column. Uh, we also call columns master containers in LeanCore. In order to add a new master container, I just click on the new icon in the top right, and it will give me a title. And I can also select a color scheme for this column. And it will always add the column over on the far right of the board. In order to move this column where I want it, I can simply click this arrow and it will move the column left or right. So here I have added my testing master container and it's in between done and archive. And I'm going to move it one more to the left. So now we go in progress testing and done. Okay, so that's my new master container. Let's say I want to add a sub column to in progress. To add a sub column, I simply click on the plus sign here and it will open up. I'll have two sub columns. One by default is called in progress and another one called new sub column. And I'm going to edit these. I want to call the first sub column type one. And I will call this one over here type two. If I wish to add a new swim lane, each swim lane is added on a master container by master container basis. So I'm going to come into requested and I will add a new swim lane. And let's change the name of this swim lane to new clients. And I will change the previous swim lane, which was the default to existing clients. Now, sometimes you might also want to change the width of the master container, the number of cards that it can contain. In order to do that, I want to click on the default swim lane of the master container. And here where it says cards per rows, I'll go from one to three on that. Now I'll update. Okay, now let's have a look at what our board looks like. I'll go back to board. And here we can see we have the three card wide backlog column. My requested column has two swim lanes, existing clients and new clients, and I've modified my in progress to have two sub columns, type one and type two. Using the edit board mode makes it very easy to modify your Kanban board, whether you're adding a new column or master container, new sub columns and new swim lanes. Thanks very much for watching.